HBICs. How are you doing on this lovely morning, afternoon, or evening? How are you today? How are you? What state are you embodying today? Hmm? Huh? Are you embodying the, the state of knowing that you are the most sexy being to ever walk this earth? Are you embodying that today? To knowing that you are luscious and that your specific person is lucky to even know you? Is that what you're embodying? Are you? Why not? Now, let's jump right into this. If you need help figuring out what's going on between you and your manifestation, please feel free to email me at manifestingwithkimberly at gmail.com and then I will email you all of my coaching information and what I offer and my PayPal link so you can coach with me. I have a small little wait list. I have a small little wait list. If you don't like waiting, that's what the emergency calls are there for. I've been asked what constitutes an emergency whatever you think is an emergency. I don't care. Meaning, I'm not going to say, no, that's not a big enough emergency for you to book a call with me. That, 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 that's not the case. Whatever's going on, if you need to talk to me and you were too impatient and don't want to wait, I understand. I know what it's like to want to get to somebody quick. That's why I offer that. So there's emergency coaching if you need it. Um, Blah, blah, blah. What else? What else? What else? I have TikTok, Instagram. Please come see me over there. Please join me. If you are just coming by this video, could you please give me a like? <laughs> could you please give me a like? Uh, if you've been a long running uh, subscriber with me, you know, I don't normally ask for these things, but like I said, now I'm, I'm aware now, my awareness of what likes do. I just want my videos to get out, to get out. And let's get us all woke. You know what I'm saying? Okay. On that note, let's talk. Let's talk about being desirable, sexy, luscious, wanted, right? Desired, pursued. Let's talk about that. How to get your specific person to desire you, be obsessed with you. We'll stop right there. I know that there are other coaches who have an issue with the word obsessed. That's their personal limiting belief around the word obsession. Literal, logical definitions of words don't matter over here. If it doesn't mean something scary, terrible, murderous, then don't worry about it. If it doesn't mean it to you, like it doesn't mean it to me, it's okay. Keep their opinions about words to themselves, okay? or any judging you on what affirmations you're using, tell them straight where to go, mind their business. There is, listen, there are no rules on affirmations. You make your own rules for your manifestation journey, okay? <laughs> okay? All right, now back to the video. So, if you've watched me for a while, you know that I like to discuss embodying the state of, which is stepping into the version of yourself that has your desire. So I want you to look at this as stepping into the version of yourself that feels sexy, ravishing, luscious. I like that word, luscious. Luscious, right? Per. But no, really, think about it. We want specific person to reflect love to us. Yes, we want to have a love experience with them. But we also have some sexy, saucy, sassy time too. And we want that person to want us, to desire us, to lust after us, right? To know that we're luscious, sexy, and sassy. Well, we have to think of ourselves that way first. I want you to either add affirmations to your game where you are describing yourself that way. I am luscious. I am ravishing. I am sexy. I am undeniable. I am radiant. I light up the room when I walk in. You know, my specific person's obsessed with me, obsessed with my body. They can't get enough of me. I'm the only one that can fulfill their needs. Start seeing yourself as that version of yourself. Embody the state of knowing 
that you are that luscious, sexy, sassy woman or man. See your beauty. Tell yourself that you're beautiful. Tell yourself you're beautiful. So I know the boring side of this video is self-concept matters. Your self-concept matters. What you think about yourself matters because that is what is being projected out along with whatever beliefs and assumptions you have around your specific person also matter. If there's anything brewing within you that they that you think that for whatever reason that they're not attracted to you or, you know, they would rather be with someone else, someone more attractive. And let me just say this. We tend to be our own worst self-critics. Now, something that I've always criticized my own self over is my weight, hence the weight loss journey. But at the same time, the, the only reason why weight started coming off of me was because I did have to address my own self-concept about my own body, about my appearance. So if you know that you're busy criticizing yourself, we got to work on that. We got to let that go. You need to find, find it within yourself to realize how beautiful or handsome you already are. Now, I'm not judging you if you want to lose weight or if you don't want to lose weight. No matter what size you are, that doesn't matter. We're beautiful no matter what we look like. And we have to accept, we have to accept that, accept our own beauty. Now, this video isn't about weight loss or anything like that, but I'm bringing that up, that little, little, little nugget. I'm bringing that up because, listen, self-worth, self-love is important. We need to know that we're beautiful. We need to feel it. So please be working on that. Look yourself in the mirror and tell yourself, I am beautiful. I am luscious. I am sexy. I am worthy and deserving of having a relationship with, put SP's name in, who is absolutely entranced by me. He's entranced by me or she's entranced by me. She's under my little love spell or he's under my love spell. He can't get enough of me. So start talking to yourself like that. Begin embodying that feeling. If that's a struggle to go there, start asking yourself the what if questions. What if it was easy for me to accept that I am beautiful as I am? What if it was easy for me to accept that I am sexy and that I am worth being on someone's arm? I am beautiful. I am handsome. What if it was easy for me to accept my own self-worth? What if it was easy for me to wake up to the idea that I am good enough, sexy enough, ravishing enough right now? What if I woke up tomorrow and realized that my specific person is absolutely entranced by me? He can't get enough of me. He's all over me in a good way. He can't get enough of me. He's all over me. He's entranced by me. Start embodying that. Start embodying that. I'm telling you, you're going to start carrying yourself differently. You're going to feel differently. You're going to feel differently up here too. And you watch that specific person start showing up in a way that it's like you're undeniable. They can't get enough. You're like a sexy, sassy cheesecake and he just wants to keep biting. <laughs> you're like a sexy, sassy apple pie and he just wants to keep eating. You're like a Tootsie Pop. He wants to just keep a licking because how many licks does it take till you get to the center of it? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> All kidding aside, because you know we like to joke around on my channel. Start affirming, scripting, visualizing your specific person being totally, totally entranced by you under your own little love spell. It's like you're giving out your own little love spell to keep them sexually aroused for you.
and just you. It's just another way of thinking of remote seduction. You will begin to carry yourself differently. You're going to start seeing the beauty in yourself. Listen, size, age, your shape, none of that matters. We are all beautiful and sexy or handsome in our own individual ways. Of course, your specific person can't stop thinking about you. They can't get enough of you. They're head over heels in love with you. They think about you endlessly, morning, noon, and night. They're totally obsessed with you. Of course they are. Because you're beautiful. You're sexy. You're sassy. You're bewitching. Think of it like that. Start asking yourself, what would it feel like to know that... I'm bewitching, I'm radiant, I'm amazing, I'm gorgeous, I'm beautiful, I'm unstoppable, I'm limitless, I'm putting out my own love spells all over my specific person. Really think about immersing yourself in your goddess or god-like energy, meaning the state of you, the version of you that knows, knows that you are a goddess, a god you are ravishing. You're radiant. He thinks you smell amazing. He thinks you look amazing. Everything about you excites him or her. They are ravished. They want to ravish you. You don't always have to do remote seduction word for word like the books. You can do it just by stepping into that version of yourself. Seeing yourself as being bewitching, entrancing, you know, sexually satisfying, sexually undeniable, inescapable, and wants to pleasure you. And you want to pleasure your specific person. You both are mutually pleasuring each other and satisfying each other's needs. But think about it. What would it feel like to you to be bewitching and trancing and just giving out every ounce of sexual energy and aura? Now, at the same time, to bring it back down a notch, listen, there is nothing wrong with manifesting a specific person and also having the wants and the desires to have a sexual experience with them. Doesn't that come with relationships? You want to pleasure each other? Of course we want to be mutually pleasing to each other. Of course we want to excite our partner and there's nothing wrong with that. And don't let anybody ever make you feel like you're, you know, you're wrong for thinking about these types of pleasures. That's the whole point of being with our specific person because that's the person you're going to open yourself completely to. So start affirming, start scripting, start visualizing. You know, I am beautiful. I know I'm sexy. I'm ravishing. I'm radiant. I like using, I am entrancing. I'm bewitching. I'm unstoppable. I'm limitless. I'm beautiful. I'm sexy. I'm sassy. And I truly believe I am all of those things. What would it be like for you to actually start seeing yourself that way? Get yourself your specific person. See yourself as someone who is undeniable. It's undeniable. It's inevitable that they'll be after you. They'll be obsessed with you. They won't be able to stop themselves from pursuing you and having you. And please, don't let anybody else's limited perspectives on having fun with manifestation. And that's all it is. It's just having fun. It's excitement. And there is nothing more fun than sharing a pleasurable experience with the person that you're in love with and who obviously loves you back. There's nothing wrong with that. So have fun. Have fun. Maybe you see yourself as, I don't know, Marilyn Monroe or Jessica Rabbit. See yourself as a bombshell, a sexual bombshell, sexy, sassy, and saucy. Yes, step into this version of yourself because it exists. It exists within you. There is a version of you who knows her or his own beauty, his own allure. We are alluring. I love that. Bewitching, entrancing, alluring. 
radiant. I'm here to be ravished. Step in to your state of complete and utter ravishment. Is that a word? I don't know. Don't deny yourself fun while manifesting. Don't deny yourself fun. To add in some remote seduction tips, these are the times where perhaps, you know, it's bedtime. Maybe you're heading to Betty Bye time and you start thinking about, I don't know, pleasuring yourself. Those are the moments you want to envision your own specific person and envision whatever it is that pleasures you with your specific person. See it in your mind. See it in your imagination. I'm not much of a um, visualizer myself, but even in those moments, we can visualize. Picture it. Feel it with your senses, being with your person. That's essentially remote seduction. So go be that bewitching, sexy, sassy, saucy, undeniable, alluring woman or man that I know you can be. Don't ever limit yourself. Enjoy every moment because it's going to be a lot more.